What's going on everybody? I just got a software update for 2020.36.11. I expect it to be mostly bug fixes, but because I am one of the first people to have it, according to Teslify, I'm gonna give you a little update here and let you know if there are any changes or anything like that. Um, just waiting on the car to finish up installation. It's at about 60% right now. And uh, yeah, as soon as that's done, I'll tune you in on it. I never realized how dirty and dusty my screen is until the screen either goes black or turns off. But either way, just at uh, updating ECU. And there's little things that'll happen like these lights up here just turned off and turned back on. You'll hear clunks and things like that every once in a while. It's pretty standard for uh, a software update, but it's really weird. If you haven't sat in your car during a software update, I highly recommend it just to experience it. It's a little different. So it appears that it's just bug fixes. Um, I had 2020.36.10, 20 I believe is what it was, that introduced the uh, navigate on autopilot exit passing lane. Personally, I have not changed that. Uh, let's see here. Exit passing lane, I have yes marked. Um, honestly, I drive like an old man, and so I usually am going like 72, 73. Most people are going about 75 when it's a 70 zone. So I sit in like the third or fourth lane over here in Utah. So that's not a big one for me. But either way, um, that is a new option that people have, that exit passing lane. And the green light notification as well. I've got that turned off because I react really quickly when the light turns because I'm always paying attention. Um, from what I hear in the latest update, well, in 2020.36.10, that improved, there would be a little delay. For me, I got pretty annoyed with it because I'd be sitting at the light waiting for it to change. As soon as it changed, I'd press the accelerator and it would still ding at me and that just got kind of annoying. So apparently there's a bit of a delay now. I'm gonna have to go uh, test it out and see if that's for sure because if that is improved, I will be turning that back on. It's just a nice little reminder, but honestly, like 95 plus percent of the time, I'm paying very close attention to the light. But yeah, in the past, if it turned green, it legitimately would chime as fast as I could react with my foot on the accelerator. We're gonna see how fast it goes today. girl next to me is on her phone. All right, I was distracted by the girl who was on her phone at the last uh, last light. I didn't notice how long it took for it to change between when it dinged at me. Um, we're gonna try it again at this light. One of the things that I think they can improve on and maybe this will improve is something like if you're in the turn lane and there's a dedicated left turn, it was a little delayed, but it wasn't a lot. Um, but what I was saying is if you're in a dedicated, uh, or you're in a lane with a dedicated turn signal, sometimes that will ding when the green light goes off for going straight. And it shouldn't because that's just a false alert for those who are trying to turn left. Anyways, that's it. So that's it for this. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.